by naming the show Chicana, I am talking about the political time of today with the border, you know, thinking about being a Mexican-American woman, being a woman whose father was born in Mexico and my mother was born in the U.S. and she's Caucasian and dealing with how that feels growing up and people telling you, oh, you look Mexican or you don't look Mexican or you look white or you don't look white and how that felt and how I tried to cover it up or I tried to hide it under a blanket or um, just all these things that come up being a mixed ethnicity. I started painting blankets in 2014, and I was really thinking about relationships at that time. I was thinking about the way it felt to share a blanket with someone and how we acted differently under a blanket as opposed to above the blanket. And then in 2016, I went to Oaxaca to do an artist residency, and I learned to do traditional backstrap weaving. So when I did that, they started saying, hey, this is lightning, this is mountains, this is when we had this storm, and I can use this narrative of the blanket, of the embroidery and the pattern on the blanket to help enforce my personal narrative of the painting. So, so specifically, I wanted to paint people under blankets, and then it was like, well, what blanket? Well, I'll use blankets that I have. I have a Mexican blanket. I have a blanket I got when I was in India, and I have this childhood Mickey blanket. So I was using blankets and then making different patterns, making up some patterns, but I wanted to use Mexican textiles and colors because I thought the colors were really interesting. But the more I painted the animals on the blankets and the patterns on the blankets, the more interested I became in the pattern. And then the pattern, whether it was uh, an icon that we know or an icon that we don't know, we can learn about it. And that just added another layer to the story. When I made this painting a few weeks ago, someone came in and she said, you know, I was born in Mexico and I was raised in the US. And she looked at the painting and she said, I feel like that. And I thought, Ah, oh, like that's what I want. That's what I want. I want people to feel like there is a section of the art world that is for them and that uh, those conversations should be had and they should feel like they see themselves in the artwork that's in the world. So I plan on pushing this further and further. I don't know where it's going to go. Um, I like to surprise myself, but uh, it definitely will be a wild and uncomfortable journey <laughs> that I'm going to go on. There are a lot of blankets in the world. <laughs>